Hello and welcome to UAT Time within the United Countries Special by First Ukraine. You can find us on the frequencies available on our website, firstua.com. I'm Sergei Vilichansky. And I am Olivier Drain. UAT Time is dedicated to bring Ukraine and Europe closer to each other by introducing the real Ukraine to the rest of the world. Expansion of Ukrainian culture, fashion and art continues. This time we're talking about Ukrainian Fashion Days in France in October 2016. Our guest today is Anna Varel. Chef editor of L'Officiel Ukraine, co-organizer of Ukrainian Fashion Day in France in 2016. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your invitation. Um, I'm holding an official letter of the ambassador at large for strategic communications, Dmitro Kuleba, a good friend of ours. And um, it's a letter of support. To whom it may concern, it is my pleasure to express, express full support to the Ukrainian Fashion Days in France to be held in October 2016 in Paris. The fashion event is dedicated to the 25th anniversary of the independence of Ukraine. And it uh, uh, gives some insights of who is going to uh, present uh, uh, their fashion and their works and I recommend the project Ukrainian Fashion Days organized by Anna Varava and Elmira Polyaeva to be presented in France as a unique combination of Ukrainian traditions and a fresh perspective on global fashion trends. So what is it going to be like? First of all, we're very thankful to Dmitry for supporting us because it's going to be um, a state event, I can say. Uh, it's going to be a good presentation of what Ukraine have in uh, terms of their talents and fashion and art. And it's going to be an official but very beautiful evening where we can invite VIP guests and uh, leaders in fashion industry and to present the image of modern Ukraine. And also the 15th, the 15th of June, you will present at the Rada yeah. your, your your project. Can you can you speak about that? At the Verkhovna Rada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, it was uh, a lot of people know about that already, and okay. they want to support from the side of Ukraine because for this time, Ukraine have never had such an event in the world. It was something, but not that huge. And that's why they say, okay, it has to be on governmental level. So we need to make a kind of a round table to invite all the guests and to discuss all that and to say, yes, Ukraine needs that. And we are ready to present the best that we have. And you know, uh, Sergei, uh, some of our friends who came here are also involved in this event, in this project. You have uh, Jose Art Gallery. Okay. Uh, and you have also uh, Miss Irina. Ukraine yep. uh, Committee. Okay. They are involved in this. Well, that's exciting because if we're talking about a really big uh, first of this type event, I would assume all best of the best will yeah. be involved. Okay. At least I definitely see uh, Lila Pustavit is going to be presenting. We her. want to invite, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. We want together all the best Ukrainian designers sure. that at the same level of international designers and they can be at and they can be good to uh, present it in Europe and in France and say what we have. And also for the event, the part of art with uh, modern uh, artists and sculptures. And of course, Ukraine is famous for our ladies and very yes. beautiful girls. Yes. That's why Miss Ukraine will support us with the girls. And also we will invite top models to make a defile. I say, I say every time that the, 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 the girl in girl in Ukraine, or woman in Ukraine, are like strategic weapon yeah. <laughs> for yeah. Ukrainian diplomacy. <laughs> I, I would say all the ambassadors need to be Ukrainian girls and ladies. Then, Maybe that can, be, be, can be used, more useful for Ukraine. All the, uh, all the ambassadors, <laughs> even the foreign ambassadors need to be Ukrainian ladies. <laughs> then there will be no war, no war, nothing, uh, all issues will be solved. But. Um, as far as I understand, the fashion business as it is, uh, is uh, one of the most expensive ones, I would say, because you can't just throw an event mm. in a little conf conference room. It has to be beautiful. Yeah. It has to be top notch. It yep. has to be something that people will talk about because no one's going to give a discount. Okay, Ukraine, oh, that's, the country with war and with the low budget, 
No, they're going to talk about either it was a good event or they will say it was a bad event. How are you... Do you have time to find sponsors or how are you going about the, doing this? It is this? scheduled beginning of uh, October, so we have some time and a lot of work has already been done for okay. that. We have a partner like ICC, International Chamber of Commerce, and yeah. they are very huge in Paris. So they told us also that we will uh, help you with the location, first of all, oh, and good. it has to be a suitable location. As we know, for now, it's scheduled uh, for 6th of October. So Fashion Week ends 5th of October. And the next day, when everyone is still in Paris, and they know about our event, and they are ready to come to us. And the locations will be already not for Fashion Week, but given to us. But the, you, you have, um, first you will be in Paris, and Paris is like a brand. Yes. Uh, and uh, secondly... Look who's talking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, and <laughs> I am yeah. French, 100%. Uh, and um, then you, you, you also, um, you talked to me about some very nice places. Uh, yeah. You talked to me about some uh, hotel, hotel particulier, we yeah, say in France. Yeah, I was talking about. Uh, yeah, we also... Uh, look at Hotel uh, Solomon de Rothschild, the uh, places like that. So we want that really to be like a palace and mm -hmm. for people to feel the atmosphere. They come to the event, they, it is organized on a very high level and they touch a kind of modern Ukrainian culture mm -hmm. and fashion and understand yeah that's good and they have good atmosphere and when they leave the event they say Wow, Ukraine is so beautiful, I want to go there. So that's our purpose. Wow. Um, Ukrainian culture is so diverse. So uh, um, what, within the, the, this event, what do you think, uh, what else will you uh, present? The music, the maybe folklore or the, you know, folk, dance or well, yeah. tell me a little bit b besides yeah, the besides the the uh, the brand names that will uh, do the yeah. presentation of their work yeah you're very right Ukraine is uh, known for their ethnical parts and modern part and also we were talked about uh, international um, Minister of International Affairs mm -hmm. and they also give us the idea to make this ethnical part but very Important. I mean, we have uh, collections of very old Vishivankas, mm. and they are gathered for 40 years, for example, with some mm. collectors, and they never been exposed somewhere. So it can be presented during the event also like a part. You see what we have. For now, for example, very important fashion houses, they use this embroidery, but it is inspired by Ukrainian one. And yes. It was from, I don't know, 19th century or earlier, and they have these collections. So we can do this with the ethnical part, with our modern Ukrainian designers. We don't want to make, like, you know, differently and that's it. We want to make some statement and with symbols. So the fashion show will be held all in white and the designers have their task. We have 25 looks, like to 25th anniversary of Ukraine mm -hmm. and eight designers will present three uh, looks from their collections and made like some signature uh, outfits on white. So mm. it is one defile, and this ma the statement is like Ukraine is tabula rasa, or something, you know, some, something new, and it gives uh, like a new beginning of the country, and we go with peace, and this is the symbol of what we want to I, I, I saw your press release you sent to me, and uh, um, I, um, I saw some key points. For me and your press release, I understood that you have a process, like uh, um, art or fashion revival for Ukraine, okay, first. Mm -hmm. And secondly, you want also to present that, yes, Ukraine is a new independent state, mm -hmm. but with a large story. Yeah. And uh, we were independent and we are again independent. Yeah. And that's why I talk about a re revival of Ukraine. And in your, in your press realities, we can see that that's a good, you, a lot of hope, hopeness yeah. in this. Uh, and uh, that's very interesting. Uh, how, you, um, how you will um, show um, 
this revival uh, in your uh, in your event more and more because for me really for for me now Ukraine is in the process of revival yeah we go first of all with this uh, white common fashion show mm -hmm. showing that what we bring to the world mm -hmm. then we uh, we show our traditional part and modern part and say yes we have deep traditions and now we are open for communication we are open to the yeah. world and we give we go with this message so we are like with peace and freedom and we have this and we want to collaborate you know this mo uh, I, I was uh, today the 14th of June with the ambassador of France and we talk about Ukraine and Ukraine is a very interesting country because you have also those tradition very strong this history with the Cossack with Taras Bulba and you have also IT yeah. and in your uh, in your project what I like is that you mix that uh -huh. you mix the history and the modernity of yeah. Ukraine and for me this is very interesting that because this is in the process of win mm -hmm. winner process and uh, you I think I, uh, I, I, you know, Sergei, that I, I like Fashion Week. Yeah, <laughs> I do know that. <laughs> you know, then I am always invited uh, by some uh, friend model uh, to Fashion Week in Ukraine, and I really like. And for me, uh, Fashion Week is also a strategic weapon, not only because of beautiful girls, but also because of art and of uh, the creativity, sense yeah. of creati creativity of the, of the Ukrainian. And yeah. we want to combine this in our show, so it won't be like a defile, that's it. It will be an art performance, combination of music, you was right, because we, uh, we invited uh, modern but ethnical bands that will be very interesting for Paris to see them, and also some kinds of classical music like opera singers, mm -hmm. also Ukrainian, and some artists that it will be a show, not like Defile and that's it. And with also a movie presentation and movie will be dedicated to this 25th anniversary. Is the selection of uh, Paris as the place for this uh, Ukrainian Fashion Days, uh, is that a purposeful choice? Because Paris is uh, considered to be the center of fashion in the world. Why, why, what's your, uh, why, 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 why did you choose Paris, not New York? Yeah, first it was New York. <laughs> idea was oh. about New York. Okay. Yeah, but this is direct connection between, in Paris, yeah, it's fashion. It's fashion uh, yes. capital, first of all. And also, you know, this year, um, they have the uh, days of Anna Yaroslavna. It's connection between Ukraine and France, mm -hmm. direct oh. connection. And a lot of interest is in Ukraine mm. now. And also this, um, we talked with lots of people and in Paris they say, yeah, we are interested to have this event. We have never had it. And yeah, we will support you. And the embassy of uh, Ukraine in Paris also supports this event. Oh. And also the fund of Anna Yaroslavna in Paris, they say, Let's do it. We will do our best to invite guests to help you oh, here good. at that's the place. Good. Because I was going to ask you about the partners uh, locally, because like uh, yeah. Amber, uh, we've both been invited to this uh, Outlook cultural yeah, yeah. event. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, if we reverse it, we will see a local uh, uh, NGO uh, 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 that organizes uh, a, a, a cultural event for 25 different nations and embassies here in, in Ukraine. And so, as, uh, as uh, uh, I kind of uh, 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 translated into the, your situation, it would be good to have a, a local uh, 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 promoters or local partners that will help uh, you promote this. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, um, Anna needs a lot of also media support. That's why yeah. uh, she's here with us. And I think uh, for Ukraine, this is a, cultural diplomacy is a very easy way to influence. That's true. Uh, and uh, that cost. Um, I cannot say it costs nothing, but it costs not a lot of money. This is not tanks to buy yeah. or some weapon to buy. It's very very uh, low prices. And uh, I, she needs some support. And I think for Ukraine, the cultural diplomacy is the best way 
first to show Ukraine and secondly to fight against the uh, uh, Putin propaganda. Uh, because if everybody uh, see that uh, Ukraine is uh, has its own culture, own tradition, own history, that means uh, everybody will understand that Ukraine is not Russia. And in France, we have yeah. this problem. That's uh -huh. why it's very important to support your your product. It's true for a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people in the, in the West and Europe. Uh, when you say I'm from Ukraine, they say, "Oh, Russia." Uh -huh. So it's true to show a specific, uh, diverse culture that is different from any other cultures. Um, uh, and I would say uh, this is one of the best ways to right. go. And we can say to the politicians in Ukraine, please help Anna because this is a good project that costs not a lot of money and that can be very useful uh, for Ukraine. Thank well, you. <laughs> it, it's, uh, I would say uh, I would uh, even uh, address the foreign businesses in Ukraine. They, are, they would probably be more likely to see this program than the politicians uh, because uh, foreign businesses in Ukraine uh, are interested in Ukraine's prosperity and are interested in, uh, and perhaps they may see the ways how they can be advertised or, uh, or the, how they can sponsor this kind but of... But also... Uh, as, 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 as a way of... Uh, social responsibility that they have. Yeah. And uh, so, Anna, you are also the chef editor of Official Ukraine. Yeah. And what's going on in uh, those uh, events about uh, in the official your spectacle, theater, uh, and all that? OK. Hold well. on. Be before you answer, <laughs> I want to draw our attention to our Facebook page. And uh, you can find us there, facebook.com slash firstua channel and facebook.com slash UAT time. Find us, let us know what you think, uh, let us know you're alive. You're there, you're <laughs> yeah. watching us. Okay. All right, so yes. Yeah, please. so we're doing official in Ukraine for 15 years already. Yes. And always developing and making events and also make some statements. And we deal not with politics, we deal with uh, fashion, art music and the achievements that Ukraine has got. And recently we opened our website and it's quite a different project. It's more social and cultural one. If uh, officiate it's like a Bible or encyclopedia of fashion mm -hmm. that everyone look like a book and if it's written something there that's a statement mm -hmm. and then appreciate it yeah it's a trend or this person even if, if the person is an official okay we can we can rely on it and mm -hmm. it's uh, it's good information and for the website we are going with the IT development and it, we make it more you know fast uh, fun or something like that but also in terms of fashion and culture and some event that's going on in Ukraine. And it seems that them. the website could be uh, much more interactive yeah. with the people True. because that's the 21st century. Uh, because, you know, everyone is afraid that the, the hard to copy magazines will go out of business because of Internet. But I would say mm. now it's 2016 and we see that, no, there is room for this and there is room yeah. for that. Yeah. There is nothing better than holding a good quality magazine, flipping the pages and, and reading it. You know, <clears throat> the cinema didn't kill the theater. Yeah, true. that's true. That's true. And so, maybe the theater is revival yeah. and magazines also have different mm. value now. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so with the website and uh, it just gives a, a real uh, uh, real time uh, communication and perhaps even uh, feedback from the people because they can, you know, in a real time reply or send a question. Uh, things like, uh, you know, live broadcasts with interviews or press conferences with these and these yeah. people or even live broadcasts from uh, Fashion Week in Paris could be yeah. done on your website. That would be a good, uh, good uh, way. And on on this way, uh, you then you you will do this uh, this event in Paris. But after that, after that, what you will do? 
Who is the event? After the event. After, after the event. Is there life after the event? Yes, yes sure. Is there life after <laughs> it just it started a good beginning because we have a lot of requests from different countries, mm -hmm. from Italy, from London, from Hong Kong, or even nice. in New York to make the same project. But we want to be concentrated now and to start from the capital of fashion, from Paris, and do it on very high level. That's Style. why, well, you yes. know, C it's can very you repeat? Fun. Paris, the capital of fashion. Yeah, Paris, Paris is the capital. Uh, thank you, thank you. I love it personally because I'm working for <laughs> with officiel and I speak French and every time I'm there I'm just you know it's so inspiring so inspiring and being on all these fashion shows we wanted to make something with the Ukrainian people like that you know I can't tell that we can do now a fashion show like Chanel does yeah, yeah but we try. We will try and we will make all our efforts and gather all the very strong people to support this event, to make that on a very high level. Well, you know, you have uh, good examples and uh, uh, it's, it's always good to have a pattern to follow and uh, especially now as we are uh, moving into this market. Yeah. Though I would say the, the world market is no longer surprised by the quality and the creativity of our designers. Mm -hmm. They're no longer surprised. Mm -hmm. I would say this would probably be um, a big move into, uh, uh, you know, to help raise it to a totally different level. Yeah, so, I hope so. Yeah, because... And, and you know, yeah. uh, during the Ukraine Fashion Week or Methodist Mes Fashion Week, Ukraine, uh, you, I saw a lot of very, very an interesting designers, uh, and uh, for for clothes for men, for women, for children, and uh, I think Ukraine uh, has its own place in the fashion world. And I really like your, um, you know, the, the the sense of your. This is the typical, uh, no draw, you know, embroidery. Yeah. Okay. Really, really nice. And when I was uh, in some event, I saw a lot of beautiful girl with those uh, nice dress, with those brodery and us. We don't have that in other states I, in Europe, I think. Hey. <laughs> Maybe for some Not time we forgot about that, but if you see the fashion shows of a lot of very huge names and we say, oh, this was inspired by Ukraine, this yes. was from Skips yes. or from, uh, you know, Kiev Ras, it was long, long ago, but the inspiration came, came from that. It's very yeah. creative nature. The brodery, the colors yeah. of the brodery is very nice. Well, uh, as it always uh, happens, that uh, having a good discussion, run, uh, time flies and uh, <laughs> Uh, we have one minute left, so okay. is there anything... Um, you want to add? Uh, <laughs> yes. I want to add. I just want to say that uh, for all the people who want to support that, we will be very uh, pleased to to discuss all that and to, su to gather all these efforts and very strong people to support the event and to present Ukraine. To We have a very good occasion of 25th anniversary. Yes. And Maybe, and I believe that it can be a good start to present Ukraine on the level it has to be and to say what we have and then go further into the world like independent country, free, uh, peaceful and ready to give something to the world, not, not only to ask something from the world. Yes, that's true. That's well, good. I would say yes, that's true if everyone uh, just uh, does what he feels needs to be done and responds to the call to the inner uh, call to help and assist. Let's you know, just uh, jump in. In some interview, in some conference, I always uh, say, and I always uh, will say, that the future of the of Ukraine is in the hands of the Ukrainians. Yes, yes, that's true. All right, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank it you. was United Country UAT Time by First Ukraine. Our guest was Anna Varava, chief editor of L'Officiel Ukraine and co-organizer of Ukrainian Fashion Days in France 2016. Olivier Vedrin and Sergei Vyjansky were working for you in the studio. Stay with us and we'll show to you the real Ukraine. Thank you for being with us. Have a good day and see you soon.